2015, that was not a good year on Austin roads. It was the deadliest year that we saw on the roadways out there. So today, a plan is moving forward to make sure this year we don't see as many crashes. Alicia Inns has more for us this morning going in depth about what you're seeing out there. You're in South Austin um, at an intersection that I think a lot of people are familiar with. Yes, that's right, Sally. Good morning. Uh, one of the deadliest and one of the busiest here, Slaughter and Manshack, is one of the areas that I think the officials are really working towards making sure that they can eliminate crashes. 14 people have been killed so far this year on Austin roadways. Might not seem like a lot, but we're not even halfway through the year right now. But there are groups that are really working to make sure that that number gets reduced. In fact, they're working to try and make sure that there are zero deadly crashes by the year 2025. And a group that we're talking about that's working on that is the Vision Zero Task Force. That's where they come in. And they're going to be releasing their final plans to the Austin Public Safety Commission today after looking at crash data between 2010 and 2014 to find patterns behind deadly and serious crashes. Now, the reasons behind many of these crashes include speed distractions, intoxication, and failing to stop. One of the early recommendations is to immediately impound the vehicles for drivers who are caught driving without a valid license. All right, now last year, the city compiled a list of intersections that need some safety improvements. You can see them here on the map. In February, we told you the cost of fixing all five would be about $4 million. Again, I am at one of those intersections here at Slaughter and Manshack would be one of the most expensive. We're looking at more than a million dollars to fix some improvements here. They want to add and raise the median as well as some other projects as well. Really hoping to complete all four of those projects by the end of this year. Whether or not that happens, we're going to find out today when the Vision Zero Task Force talks to the Project and Planning Commission. We'll see what they say and see how we can move forward with this. For now, we're live in South Austin. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. Okay.